Hi everyone, if anybody's here. Always so hard to find yourself. That sounds kind of existential. Here we go. If you're watching, hi Teresa, can you tell me if you can hear me? Because you know, all new stuff. Because can't just stay with, well, I was going to say with what worked, but did anything ever really work? The camera's not a great angle, but it is what it is. You, you want to see this stuff more than you want to see me. So as soon as I know that, you can hear me. Hi, Karen. If you tell me that you can hear me, then I will know that we are good. Um... Okay, good. I have so much stuff and I'm going to try to stamp a couple of things um, with some of the paper and stamps that I have or inks that I have laying around me, which we'll see how that goes. So um, usually when we do an unboxing, I take like I have my box here and I take everything out. So if you didn't um, catch my little thing at the beginning, the reason I didn't do that this year was because of um like I know that Stampin' Up! is taking really good care as they package stuff. So I'm sure everything here that's on the table now is clean. But I didn't, like I don't know who's touched it from the time it left Salt Lake and all the UPS people in between. So I brought my box in, I unpacked everything, and then I washed my hands thoroughly. <laughs> and then I came back. So it's a little bit different than when I've done an unboxing before. Hi, Ingrid. And the other thing is is I still don't have a copy of the catalog. And it's one of the main reasons I like to go to events because you get to see everything before you have it. And on the years that you don't get to go to events, then usually you have friends that are there and they kind of tell you all of the stuff that you don't get to see um, while, you're, while you're there. And so you've seen, like you know what goes with what. And this year, we got a pre-order form and I've looked at it on my phone and I ordered from my phone. I've never seen it large. I've never seen like what goes together. So uh, I don't know the names of the sweets or anything, but at least I stuck them in stacks to kind of know what goes with what. So we're going to kind of go with, you're going to, now you're going to not see me take it out of the box, but you know, it goes, now it's laying with what it is with. So let's start with this. My computer's way across the room. Um, so this one is called Blossoms in Bloom. And you know that I love, whoops, I forget this camera goes this direction. Um, and I think that the last time I did it, I think that my phone was on my face and my webcam was here. So it's a little bit different this time. Hopefully this works. Last time I used my new set setup, um, Serge was home and he helped me and he's back to work. So um, I'm happy that he's, that things are going back to normal and he can go back to the hospital. So there's, you know, this much of me that's a little concerned because <laughs> he's back to work. And there's also this much of me that's glad to have um, the house to myself for at least parts of the day. So he, his hours are a little bit shorter, but so this one's called Blossoms in Bloom and it's got a real fun font. I like the font of it and I love this style. I like that you can stamp light in it and color over the top of it. Uh, you can already foresee embossing in clear and doing some sponging with it. Like as I was taking it out of the box, because usually I do this with you guys, so I don't think through it. But because I was doing it this way, I was trying to decide what am I going to use first? So it was easy to decide what I'm going to use first. And I'll tell you why when I get to it. But it's like, what, what videos am I going to make? But the real reason I got this one are for the dyes which obviously I have not seen in real, in real life yet, but wait till you see these. They're super, super pretty. And also when I take them out of the box um, and do an unboxing, by the, sometimes I don't put it back together very well because I've moved on to the next thing and I'm not quite sure what, what went with what. But look how pretty these are. They remind me of the butterflies that we have that are currently where you do one in one color and one on top. So I... I think they must also like this color must go under here 
if you don't want to use this piece. So I will be running these through. I might um, like do just a dye video and run all my dyes through in a little bit after I'm done with this and then post that so you can all see what the dyes do. Because that's one of my favorite things to do is see what, what the heck some of these do. So that's the first one. That's Blossoms in Bloom. And I am going to have a January stamp camp. I debated between May because, you know, we can have um, 25 people, which I can't even have 25 people in my home right now anyways. Um, and all the camp girls are eager to get back to camp. So I thought about trying to get one in in May. But just to give everybody a little bit more time to get safe and well, then I decided who wants to come to a retired camp and then a week later, we'll just wait and we'll just new, do new catalog. So here's birds and branches. So, you know, up, upside down. Um, birds are real big right now as our nest. I love this. I have a bunch of nests that decorate my house in the spring. So this is going to be really pretty. This may be one of the first ones I do because to me it's really, really spring themed. But again, it has beautiful dyes. Our dyes... The dye game has just really upped. And you know, there is a new dye machine coming. It's in the catalog. You won't be able to order it right away because of COVID. In fact, we couldn't even get our in color ink pads because the warehouse where they make the ink pads and um, all of the inks, they're on like a. Hi, Melissa. Um, they're on a reduced schedules to keep everybody safe. So when you don't, same with shipping stuff, like getting our stuff right now is taking longer because there's fewer people working each day. So in case anybody gets sick, they don't take everybody out with them. So the price we pay to keep everybody safe, it's just taking a little bit longer and some of the stuff's not getting made as quickly. So they didn't have enough ink pads to get us through this first bit, but they're hoping that they'll have them for when the catalog is live. Look how pretty these are can do a lot with these. I like this one. I love, I love the borders. So this one is called again, birds and branches. And these two aren't parts of sweets. I decided I would do these and get them out of the way. The ones that aren't parts of sweets. I didn't order everything. I know a lot of people ask that you order everything. Sometimes I do. Um, cause we can't order the whole catalog when it's the annual cup annual catalog. The reason I didn't order everything is because like I said, some of the stuff is not ready yet. And since it wasn't ready yet, um, I knew I would be placing a second order. So I can't use it all at once anyways. So the ones, two of the suites didn't have all of their things. So this is called lovely labels pick the punch. So let's get some paper. So you can see it does two different types of light label tops and then in three different sizes so six different labels i'm not sure what size they need to be in so let me reach over to my stack of scrap paper well it's not really scrap but that's me i didn't get the stamp set that went with this because i couldn't really see it like i was doing this looking on on it at my phone where's my little ruler so when I was looking at it on my phone, I knew it was a lot of words and flowers and I have a lot of words and flowers. So I was wondering if when I was getting everything else, if I could make the words and flowers that are in a lot of these stamp sets work. Well, I don't know where to put my ruler. It was right here. But we'll just do it the sherry way, which, you know, is often anything that doesn't need math. So that big. We cut it this big. This is when your little paper trimmer comes in handy. So we'll cut it here. We'll just do the two big ones. So put that in there. And then when you slide these in, I guess it helps to open it. So you can see it does three different sizes and there it's for sentiments mainly. So this one does this sort of gotten a darker piece of card stuck on my white table. And this one does, I don't have a date yet for my June camp. The catalog goes up. Oh, that's the same one I just did. 
Here, we'll just hack that off. Um, the catalog goes live on June 3rd. We have one of our Facebook events that we do, the girls that I do this with on May 22nd. And then we're going to have another one, a new, another new catalog one, because the one in May will just be all of this stuff that was pre-order. So we've got a square one and a round one. So you get those tops. And then we'll have one where it's all of the stuff that we kind of ordered that we wanted. This is my daughter. She made a list of all the stuff she wanted out of the catalog. I haven't even really looked at it yet because, like I said, I hate to look at it online because I'm old. And it's too big. The smaller catalogs, it doesn't bother me as much. But she made a list of everything she wanted. And not one thing that was on her list was on the pre-order. So there's a whiskey set. She wants the whiskey set. I can't remember what else she's. Oh, there's a pe peonies suite. And she wanted the peonies suite. So that's this. Here are new in colors. I don't remember the names of cinnamon. And something about bees. Bumblebees maybe. But because I have nothing in print that says it. Um, I don't remember any of them, but there's a blue. Oh, Jade. Jade is that one. Maybe a magenta. Maybe they called that magenta. I have no idea what the blue is called. Nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> there's the new in colors. And then I did get, I never get this stack of paper that's in the in colors, the paper stacks. Those just aren't my personal favorite. A lot of people do fun things with them. Susan always gets them and uses them. But I would find at the end of every catalog year, I just had the whole stack left. I like all of the patterns of stuff more. So here's the in color cardstock. While we couldn't get the inks, we could get the cardstock. Hi, Mindy. So I know this is Bumblebee because it is, it was in the Ornate Garden. And this is cinnamon, which will be my favorite because if all of my clothes in my closet could be this color, I would be happy. And then Jade. I do you know that's Jade? I don't remember. I have absolutely no recollection of what the blue is. That's magenta something. And that's some kind of blue. But those are our new in colors. So a reminder, if you love this year's in colors, which again are my daughter's favorite. It's funny how different generations, like I like the muted. It must be the 80s girl in me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the dustiness of everything. But she's a huge fan of the current in colors. But those will be leaving soon. And there's blends and things of those. If you haven't got those, you need to get those before the, before those are gone. So, of course, we have all of the embellishments. This is Just Jade. Oh, well, I could have come up with that name, Just Jade. So this is the, no, it doesn't say on the label. And I don't have a catalog. It may be it's pro it may be in one of the other papers, and it will say on the paper. On this one, it just says in colors. I do know that catalogs are arriving in Indiana today. Demonstrator catalogs. If you are one of my customers and you've purchased anything from me online since February, then as soon as I get my catalog, you'll get your little catalog welcome pack, and I will mail them out. No, the names aren't on the label. Um, not of this. It's on this. This is the only ribbon I got. Again, the same thing happens to me. If I get too much ribbon, then at the end of the year, I'm just left with a whole bunch of ribbon that I didn't use. So I try to just get a couple of colors. So this is just Jade. So we do have just Jade. It's, I would say it's marvelous magenta, but I think that's a color that we had in like 1996. This is, I'm sorry. Somebody's delivering something but you know that happens all day long at my house the ups man always wonders i'm sure what the heck when i get these overnight boxes so as we come across more in colors i will tell you what those are because some of them will make an appearance on some of the cards so let's go with this one this is a sweet and i'm pretty sure it has something ferny in it <laughs> in the name i will take pictures how about this i'll take pictures of each and everything afterwards and I'll post it both on my blog and on Facebook with all of the pieces and then there I can put the names. So thank you, Janine. Misty Moonlight. I never would have come up with that one. I don't even ever know if I've read that. I've been so busy doing retired stuff and doing all of our online stuff in the way our world's changed that my whole life has just been kind of different right now, which everybody's has. Thanks, Janine. <laughs> If you want to um, pop the other ones on there, that would be nice. Is it magenta or am I crazy? 
Does it just look like magenta? So I assume it is. I do know the cinnamon because I love this. I thought that was a fun flavor, a fun flavor, a fun color. So here's Forever Fern. Love this because I love greenery. I have lots of greenery everywhere. And again, love the dyes. Love, 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 love the paper that's in this one. And this is a whole suite of products. And I think on this suite, I got them all. They're because they make it easy for us. You know, if you order just, if you order the whole suite, then with one number, you can get it all. And when you're ordering from your phone at three o'clock in the morning, it's way easier to just get the whole thing at once. Cin okay, here we go. Thanks, Janine. It's cinnamon cider. That's why I love it. It's fall. It's my color. Um, Just J, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, and Misty Moonlight. I will say Marvelous Magenta, I'm sure, more than once during the next two years because that's what our magenta used to be called. And Misty Moonlight. Is Bumblebee just one word? How weird is that? Look at these. How much? I just love the giant dyes. So pretty. Like every time I open one of these new things, I'm like, this is what I'm going to do first. This will be my first card. So we have the stamps and the dies. I like um, this greeting. It says you can do this. I like when we have words that are a little bit different than all the other words. Then these were real interesting. When you first saw these in the catalog, I'm like, huh, we have some earring hoops. <laughs> so actually, once I realized what they were, well, I wouldn't be mad if we had earring hoops. And, you know, if you follow Susan and Tanya and I, we do lots of stamped jewelry creations that are kind of mishmash. So maybe at some point we will make them into some earrings. But they are to make the half wreaths. And I have some of those in my house that I've made but little card ones. So where you can put some little florals on there and kind of make a half wreath with them. Then let's look at this. This is some of the specialty designer paper. Oh, now I'm getting text and that's my daughter and she knows I'm alive. She's trying to get off work early so she can come over here. Both my husband and my daughter are back to work. That's so nice in today's world to have families that get to go back to work. So here's our laser cut paper, which, you know, I'm a huge fan of the laser cut. Look how pretty it is. But then wait, look at this side. Doesn't that just take it up a notch? How pretty is this? So maybe this will be the first thing. How many first, how many first projects can I have? So we've got the laser cut and there's more than one design. So let me see. It's so difficult to work with this and not damage it. Here we go. And this is why when I do my regular things, maybe after um, boxes have been contaminated and I've had to change, maybe I'll always do my unboxings like this. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you can see me. See my sweatshirt. So these, of course, just pop out. See, like this. These would make super easy wedding cards or even just um, some black ink. Yeah, I know, Ruby. I, I don't even know how you pick. Maybe I will put, well, I'm going to make one. I haven't made it. It's in my head. Um, but I have made, I have pulled this stuff out to make one with you guys before we finished. But then um, as I go, tell me which one you all want to see first. And if there's a general consensus, See, this is what happens. I get all this stuff out and I make a giant pile, and then it all falls over. All my brand new stuff. And then here is the regular designer series paper. And this looks like Australia to me. So I love this one because it makes me a wee bit homesick. And we have lots of those greenery things in my house. We have eucalyptus everywhere. And this looks like it has both kinds of eucalyptus. So let's see the designs of this. And I also, when I pull this out, it's really hard to get it back in. So, you know, it's all double-sided. So I'll flip through the patterns real fast. This one reminds me of the Tropical Escape one. And I loved that pattern. It was a fun masculine pattern that you could do some stuff with. But then there's another um, eucalyptus-ish one. And then look at this one. 
this one looks like when we used to go to the mountains. Um, and a lot of people don't know that in Australia, they have huge ferns, at least where we lived, huge, huge ferns in the mountains. And that's what this reminds me of. So it's just a nice greenery pack. We had a greenery, a greenery, greenery one. Look at this one. I love ferns. We had a greenery one this past year. It, not a huge fan of it. <laughs> this one is so much prettier than last year's. Look at this. This is just beautiful. And then here's the ribbon that goes with. So you can take just some of these little greenery things and cut them out and make the little wreaths. I think y'all know what I'm, I, they probably have a name. Like my daughter, she knows all the artsy popular names. Like she made the organic rainbow and people were like, what are you talking about? But the hand-drawn rainbows that are on all t-shirts and stuff right now, those are, those are called organic rainbows apparently. So she probably knows what the little half wreaths are called too. Once upon a time, that was me. Not so much anymore. I'm like, yeah, it looks like something that's not finished, but they're cute. So this is the ribbon pack. It's a double one. And this gold is really pretty. It's not a shiny gold, which is fun. It's more of a matte. It's still metallic, but you know, the matte metallic. Oh, use my take my pick tool for this. I don't know if you can see probably easier to see on the spool so it's pretty and then it comes with a, a natural twine one too and then if you saw earlier we're getting the new little mini embossing machine the new die cutting machine so it won't take the full size folders but it will take the mini one so there'll be several in the catalog and you'll see that they say mini this one doesn't say it on the the thing but you get to look at the ferns for this one like all this so much potential so because this one had a one button and you could order it all then i just got it all but the ones that were missing papers like they couldn't they didn't let us order them all so then let's do, this is one that was missing. Like the paper is not available. So I didn't get everything. There is a huge sunflower stamp set and a die set that goes with it that I did not get. But wait till you see this. So there's this little mason jar and who doesn't love those? I can already see this stamps like in a pool party-ish because I'm a huge fan of the green mason jars and the sunflowers. And then it's got the little punch. No, you don't need to see me. At first, I thought this might be the one that I stamped with. But it may take me a minute to figure it out because then it also has these. So you don't need window sheets or anything because it comes with little baby mason jars to pop in where this goes. So how much fun are those going to be to have a little 3D mason jar on the top of your card? I'm still a little bit challenged on which way to go on my new camera. But how much fun is that? So that's part of this suite. It is called maybe Forever Flowers. But and there's a huge sunflower. And I may end up getting it, but you know, I couldn't stamp with all of this anyways. So there was no point to get it all. And then if you want to make it a shaker card, you can fill it with these, which will give it a little bit of a water effect or the green, the green glass. But more watery these are called flowers for every season gems Look how pretty those are are they sparkling on your screen but they have that kind of iridescent watery effect so you can kind of put them in here and make a little shaker with water maybe i'll do this as a first card there's too many first not enough time then here's the ribbon that goes with this suite. The paper that goes with this suite is a six by six huge paper stack. It's just not available yet. So this is another, it's a white twill and then a green um, gingham. And then a, this is a really pretty one. It's kind of a twine, hi Bunky. And it's got some silver in it. So you get this little three pack. I like the, the these packs where they have the mix and match because you know I'm a huge ribbon fan. There's those. And then this one does have a memories and more pack, which I thought that I got, but that's what happens when they take away the one order button. 
because they did look for those because they have the the patterns of the paper in them that's not available. But apparently I didn't get the memories in the pack, so you'll have to come back the next time I place my order and look at those. But these are the cards that go with. So these are the memories and more cards for this year. And these are fun because they're in some of the in colors. Hi, Diana. It may be all in colors. Oh, we'll look at the envelopes. The envelopes are fun. Yeah, it does look like they're all the in colors, which thanks to Janine. Now we know the names. Cinnamon Cider. Um... Oh, you're fine. You can go back and watch what you missed. It, they, I didn't really have a start time because I wasn't sure what time it was coming. And then I disinfected it after I opened my box. So my unboxing this year is a little bit different because I wanted to take it all out and then wash my hands. I didn't want to keep touching the box. So it doesn't have the cinnamon cider. cider. Hi, Kate. Oh, Kate, look, I know you're going to be a huge fan of this one. This little mason jar set, little mason jar punch. And little mason jar poppies that go in the top. Definitely a camp project for when you're back in June. This will be so much fun. And then we'll fill it with these little water gems. So I know this will be. There's already. I already have too much with what I already own to have um, camp projects for the first month. Because I bought more. We usually do six projects. And I think I have more than six sets. I didn't get any of the hostess sets. People were asking me what I didn't get, and I couldn't remember. Now I remember. I didn't get the hostess sets. But that's the mason jar one. I've done one, two, maybe four sets so far. Then let's do, I'll end with the one that I'm going to stamp with. So let's do this one. This one is a guy one, or it can be a guy one. But I love it because I love to travel. So I love the globe. So obviously it can easily be, uh, I knew that you would like that one, Kate. Um, it can easily be a masculine card. It can be a graduation card. It can be a wedding card. If you're giving somebody a gift for their honeymoon, it's really a nice, beautiful set. So then it has, let's look at the dies that go with it. Oh, does it have cinnamon cider? I probably just didn't. Um, fluff through them all the way. I so much prefer when I do this after I've been to one of our events because then I think I know stuff to tell you about everything. Right now I'm kind of learning it with you. So here's the dies. This one right here has like a um, ma uh, script on it. Can you see it? So it must do like an imprint into the page. So maybe I'll do this one first. <laughs> I just, I have no idea which one to do first. And then this one, it has like a ribbon a ribbon pattern that goes into it. These ones, of course, just do the patterns of the globe. So if you don't stamp, this one is one that really, if you don't buy the stamp set, you're only losing these two framelits because the rest of them work without the stamp set. So those are the, the dies. And then here's the embossing folder and it is it's supposed to make it look like old paper which you know I'm a huge 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 fan of our subtle embossing folder I use it on I would use it on everything except I stopped my stopped myself so this one I think takes it up a notch like the other one's obviously subtle and it gives that little linen effect this one gives it still a handmade paper effect, but obviously not so subtle. But I'm eager to use it. And I know on the metallic papers, which the thing that's missing from this suite is new brass foil paper. So I don't have that because it was not available. It should be in soon. And then this one has, you can see the brass in this. Hi, Heather. I know nobody has anywhere to go, Ruby. I will do, maybe I'll do a couple and I will 
um, have them ready to film for YouTube and for you guys. So these are little brass sliders in corners for your cards. So we've had these before way back in the day. Cause like I said, this is my 25th starting my 25th year with stamping up. So I've been there done with that with some of these. So this right here, those just go in the corners and they give it that nice antique finished look. And then these are ribbon sliders, which we've also had before. A lot of these things used to come like in big packs. Packs that were so many, like so much stuff. Yay, Heather. Do you know what you're going to stamp with first? Everybody who has an order coming this week, tell me what you're stamping with first. This is the early espresso. And it is a suede ribbon. I can already tell it's got texture to it, so I'm trying not to damage it with my little... Pokey tool. Come on. Next year, if I do this, I'm going to go ahead and open this stuff like this first, too. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It is suede. Suede, suede. But then these things. Yeah, I know. Those, those um, old metallic things that they used to sell us had hundreds of pieces in them. Hundreds. You're going to do the jar first. So these just slide on. So for those of you that are feel your bow challenged, these just will slide on your card. Can you see it? Probably not on top of the paper here. Just like that. And it kind of gives you like a little buckle thing. And you can just wrap it around your card. Again, really great for masculine cards. So that's that. <laughs> you have a Mother's Day mess. I cleaned up mostly yesterday. I'm not all the way clean. I'd say 80, 80%. 80 so those are that. And then let's look at the papers. I know they came in huge tins and they were nice. It's just that once you bought one, you never felt like you could buy any more embellishments because you were never using those up. I think they did have like 200 pieces in them. Some of them were Brad's, but they did have a lot of pieces in them. So this is the Memories and More pack. So you can see the brass. That will be what our foil is. And this will match. If you watched any of our last retiring um, Facebook live that we did as a group, everybody used a lot of these, of the memories and more. There's just so much that you can do with them. And you just throw these on the top of a card. And then maybe with some of these, these too, you could put the sliders on these. So I know they're called Memories and More, and I know that I will be putting some of these in my unfinished Italy scrapbook because that was one of the things I thought that maybe when we went on lockdown that I would have some spare time. I've had less time than I've had in forever, but I did think that maybe I would be able to scrapbook a little bit. They have not, but these are fun to just throw in scrapbooks. But they make great, you can just add little embellishments for some fast cards. So that's the and more, and more part. But like if you don't have graduation stamps, then you could use this one. Or here's a retirement one. Here you go. You have a retirement one and a graduation one. It's never too late in life to have an adventure or dare to live the life you've always wanted. What a wonderful world dream big. So that's the memories and more pack. So they're designed for card making and for scrapbooking. And then here is this paper and it has black bumblebee, cinnamon cider, crumb cake, early espresso, misty moonlight, mossy meadow, and whisper white. And it's a specialty paper. You can already see it's got the brass, which makes it the specialty. There's some little globes. Well, I just love when they do this because it makes it so hard to use. Like, how are you going to cut that? This one needs to be a scrapbook piece of paper. Maybe some of our Vatican pictures can go in there. Oh, look at that. Some of, I mean, some of these you could do a nice framed Father's Day picture. This literally has a map. Let me see if it's real places. It's glaring. Oh yeah, it says London. 
the Netherlands, Berlin, Austria, Switzerland. So it does have real places on it. And here's one that has North America. Okay, let's see if the South Pacific is represented. Because, you know, we got stamping up people everywhere. Maybe it was only one I skipped. So this is some really fun paper. There's another one of those ones there. So this is a nice old vintage, old world look style. And this piece here, even though it's in this pack, you could easily mix this with any of the flowers that I've already shown you. <coughs> and grab a drink. So then the final suite, I have the whole suite of, and I'm going to use it first because my daughter ordered this for her suite because she is participating in our um, upcoming Facebook event. So we all had to have something to use. And because if you were to have just joined, there wasn't anything on the pre-order that was on her list. And unlike me, she um, doesn't get everything. So... This was the suite she picked, but because things are taking so long to ship, I told her that she can go ahead and take this one and then um, give me hers when hers comes in. So I'm going to stamp with it today. That way when she comes over in a little bit and she takes it, I will have already used it. So it's called Tasteful Touches, and it is the whole suite. I don't remember um, what the suite name is, but I will tell you when I take the picture of it. So here's the stamp set. So pretty. This piece right here, and I love the font. But it's one of those sets, and this is why she got it, because she doesn't have a lot of the label dies that we have, and that's what this one is. Look how pretty these are. These right here are, are great, and it has a little one that just does, like, half um, banner tags. So it's a great die set. It's a nice one, even if you don't get the stamp set. This will go with all of our stamp sets. And then here's a little wood pack of flowers. And then here's another one along the lines of the subtle embossing folder. And this one is kind of has like a, I mean, it's a texture, kind of like a sweater feeling to it. But my favorite part of the whole thing is the paper. And it's a huge paper pack. This is the piece I'm going to use. So here, this is kind of what the embossing folder looks like. Like the kind of a carpet, maybe. But I'm going to use this side of it, I think. Like I said, I haven't made the card. It's in my head. So this is huge. This has 24 pieces of paper in this paper packet. So she's taking half of it. So I guess I can go ahead and take it out. So it was, I didn't know it was a giant paper packet. But look how it's all textures. I feel like because we've done a lot of remodeling recently, I feel like I've gone into look at flooring or tiles or rugs when I look at this, the paper packet in this. But look how much fun it is. Backsplashes. So I know a lot of us were missing the little um, six by six little packet that we used to have of the wood tech, the wood grain papers. I used that all the time on everything. So this is a great pack because you get the wood, but then you also have all these other fun things. Look at this. This is so hot right now in bathrooms because we just redid our bathroom and we ended up going, oh, I wanted to feel like I was in London. So our bathroom is actually looks like London, but this was the other style that I thought. And so this is really hot right now in decorating. And then we've got some cement. So it's fun to have all the wood, but then to have on flip sides, other things as well. Some small subway tile. <coughs> that's the one that's kind of bumpy. But seriously, you feel like you've just gone into the home stores. So if you've done remodeling, you feel like you should be smelling um, like, you know, the wood. This looks a little bit like um, shag carpet. The one that was kind of halfway shag once we came out of the 70s. And it was just a little bit high. Here's another one of the tile ones. And then this one also looks a little bit 1990s when we used to like smuck that stuff on the walls. It's 
some more tile. Some more tile. So it's just a really fun pack and there's so much in it that you won't be afraid to play with it and use it. And all of it, when once you run it through that embossing folder, will give it more, more texture. I love this one because I love this color of wood. You know, don't tell my husband because my office is the white wood, but I could be convinced to change my office to this new, the new color of wood. He would not though, because my office is recently remodeled and my background does look nice when we do zoom calls. So let's do a card. I don't have anything laying here. And I, when I pulled this out, this explains why, because I'm like, that doesn't, it looks navy-ish, but that's not navy. And it, I'd forgotten that there was a new blue. So let's get a piece of the blue card stock. And I don't have the ink, but this will just show you that you don't have to have the inks to make it work. Um, grab my paper trimmer. Oh, there's my ruler. If you were with me earlier, I was looking everywhere for my ruler and now it's laying right here. So cut this in half. This is Midnight Madness. Is that what it is? One of the new colors. Got that and put this on top. I know I don't have any shimmer white here and I should have laid some here because that's my favorite color. So I'm going to just have to go with white. But this is white, so that's okay. So let's get some white. This is a pretty, it's, at first I thought it was, the new pink is um, magenta. It's pink, pink. It's a hot, hot pink. It's a, it's a, where's my lipstick blend? Is that lipstick? Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a brighter pink than the lipstick was. Which is fun when you do like the flamingo Hawaiian kind of cards. It'll be pretty with the tropical set, which stayed in the catalog. But this is a, a dusty blue. So let's get to this. And I don't remember what size the dies are. Because normally I take, this is a tip for you, I take everything. Before I use them, I take a piece of scrap paper and I just run all these through. And I don't want to cover up. I'm not going to stick any of my stickers on to start. I don't want to cover up any of the pattern, but I do want to put two of these on here. So we'll use those two since they're going to fit. So let's get the rows. And my favorite stamp out of it. And then let's do whatever. I don't even know what these words say. But they're going to fit. Um, Sarah got her catalog. Tanya got her catalog today, too. And for those of you that have never seen our beginner brochure, it's a it's a smaller brochure. And it's got stamps that are for... Like if, if you remember back to the first time you ever saw a Stampin' Up! catalog and you were probably overwhelmed because it's huge. So this cuts it down. And it's it's not simple stuff. But it's designed to not scare people away the first time they ever see a catalog. This year's beginner brochure has some cute, cute, cute stuff in it. And when you see it, you're going to be like, yeah, I need to have that. So make sure that you get a copy of it. So if you are getting your catalog from me, then you will get a beginner's brochure. I may have to order more because it's not normally something I give out. I think last year I gave them to everybody. My blocks are on the floor because, you know, I had to make stuff, room on the table for all this stuff. So hopefully all of us get our catalogs today. If you have ordered from me since February, then you'll be getting a catalog when I get mine. But it's probably going to be at least, it's going to be over a week till I get them because I ordered them at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'd be at the beginning of the line. But then all of us that expedite our stuff, like we shove the line. So it is what it is. Let's do this. I'm going to stamp this in black. 
I might have used another color, but because I'm winging this, black's the only one to keep on the table with me. So black it is. I did bring the gray over here. Did your mail come today, Ruby? I know girls across the U.S. started getting them yesterday. So let's do that. Look how pretty that is. That's the stipple kind of look. It's my favorite. And then we will do the only stamp color that I did pull over. Um, I don't know, Ingrid. Ask Tanya if she got one. If you're going to be at camp here next when I have it in June, then you can get one here. Oh, that's a bummer, Ruby. Waiting for the catalog is the worst. That's why I liked when they put them in these orders because then you knew when your order was coming, you got one. So here's the little background stamp and I am just going to stamp. But Ingrid, if you'll be here in June, then you'll get one in June. So look how pretty that is. Just a little, this reminds me of being in Italy or, you know, someplace in Europe where it's all like fading away tile. So let's pull my big shot over here. And let's do... And do this one here. And that one there. Oh, and this one has stamping up and the number on it, but that one does not. I like when they have the numbers on them. So when I, my dies get separated, I know what set they go back with. those there. Don't lose any of this stuff before it has ever been. Well, for one, my daughter wouldn't be happy if she comes to take it. I don't give her all the pieces. And then I'm going to take this piece because it's a pretty piece, but of all of the pieces, it was my favorite one, like when I flipped open real fast, but it's the flattest. This side is a little bit too carpety for me for this. It will look great on some winter cards. I'm not feeling it for summer. And today is actually looks, it's cold outside, but it does look like summer. If you just look out the window, but this is going to give it that texture that sometimes the flat paper, I feel like it needs. Oh, but you know what? I need the blue plate. You won't need the blue plate anymore if you get the new die cut machine. And the new machines, when they come out, they have like, it will have... Like it's called a re it's not called the recipe, but it will have the numbers on it. Look how pretty that is. So I got that. Let me put this back over here. And then I'm gonna take the blue. And this is smoky slate, same one I just used. Just going to give some texture around the edge. So I cut that a little bit smaller so you'd be able to see. Around the edges. So when you put the smoky slate on the blue, it doesn't, I mean, you could, I could have used gray. I could have used the blue. It just kind of turns into a dark color, not as dark as if I'd used black. So now it makes the edges of that kind of filled in. Then I pulled out, these are Seaside Spray because the Seaside Spray ribbon is back in the catalog, the one that was from Christmas. I want to keep this kind of a simple card, but I might put a color in the middle. So if you watch the video that I posted yesterday, you can color this flower the exact same way that I colored yesterday. So on these stippled flowers, take your dark one and just let the artist who did it from Stampin' Up, because they know what they're doing, 
tell you where to put the dark. So just take your dark blend and go over all of the places where the, the stippling is for the shading and just color over the top of that. Yesterday I did the Forever Blossoms from the Parisian Suite. And the flowers in that are the exact same way as this. In fact, you could mix the two sets together. So like that. And then go back the second time with your dark one. And you don't want to go everywhere, but this time you want to go to the places that are the most dark. And that way you'll have two colors of this because the second time here, it's going to make it darker. And then take the brush tip of your lighter one and just kind of quickly wisp it through. You don't want to cover up everything because you want some white. Like that. Especially on this card, the white looks nice. And then let's color it in with the center with a little bit of soft suede. And this is the dark. Again, I don't want it everywhere because I want to keep it light. And then to keep my gray going, I'm just going to get the gray and color in. Because I hate when my, this smoky slate, I hate when my things are floating in air. So just kind of. Have that there. Then we will decide. There's no ribbon in this one. At least if there was, I didn't get it. And this one I didn't order the whole suite, so there may have been, and I just didn't get it. But that's okay because I am going to stand up just a second. Oh, well, you know what? This ribbon right here. Look how pretty this is. This is from the flowers from everything suite, but who says that we can't mix and match because we like to do that? But I do need some of my favorite ribbon. Yeah, I should have opened all of these before he did this. Thanks, Ruby. Yeah, if you leave the white, then it never looks, it looks more airy and open. And it doesn't, sometimes when you color everything, that's the look you want. But sometimes it looks like you did some grown-up coloring as opposed to... Oh, come on. Getting it more. Like if you look at pictures in art, it's very rare that they've colored every last inch of everything. There's always at least some lighter colors. Okay, here's this really pretty um, twine. And the reason I keep using that to open stuff is because my scissors aren't laying here. They're over where I opened my box. So well, I'm going to get my ribbon and get my scissors at the same time. Okay, so here's the Seaside Spray, which you may remember this was in the holiday catalog and is back. And then a little bit of this, which also needs to be opened. So our polka dot tool, which I would have cried if they would not had it in the catalog, but it's back again. It's got tape on it. So let's make this a really fun, this could be a Mother's Day card. I don't, it could be a Mother's Day card for my mom. If I remember what saying I picked, let's see what saying I picked. Oh, you are so special. Well, that works for Mother's Day. So let's get our words on here so we know where to position everything. This reminds me when I saw the paper, a little bit of like the blue and white china. Pretty, it's a really pretty font. So there's that. 
And then we're going to do one of my Phobos, which was also not doing anything original. This card um, is kind of showing you the card that I did yesterday on my tutorial with the Forever Blossoms. It's kind of the same card. I'm just kind of redoing it with a different set. So this is our Fast Fuse, which we no longer have Snail, which you may have heard. And we no longer have Fast Fuse, which we haven't had for a while. I have because I prefer it to Snail. But our new catalog has a new adhesive system that is just for stamping up. So I've taken this in a loop like this. I'm looping it so I have two. And then I'm going to kind of squash these down in here. I want it to look like a, a Mother's Day like corsage or boutonniere kind of thing. Corsage, I guess, for Mother's Day. And then do the same for this. So you just take these two. And then pull it down. It's easier with the twine. And the fuse holds it. And the new stuff is supposed to be better than the fuse. The fuse had a learning curve. And a lot of people didn't like it. Because they didn't like to have to um, do the little check mark thing. Which is what they've removed. But the new system has more on each spool than the fuse or the snail did. And you'll just buy one container. And all of it will go in there. Okay, so let's put this on. The fuse always just held better. So when it went on clearance a long time ago, it's been a couple of years, I bought a ton of it. And that's what I use when I make stuff and I'm, nobody was watching. But now that you can't get either, let's look how pretty this is. Looks like a nice little corsage. So let's stick this here. this one up here. You wouldn't be able to do this with snail because it wouldn't hold all that stuff down. And then if you want, you can take glue dots and kind of mess with that, but mine, mine fell pretty nicely. So, super easy. So I guess that's the first card that I stamped with for this year. You never know which one will be the first. So I don't know if it helps to get a little closer. But that's what I have for today. That's everything that I got from the new catalog. So right now, my special for May is if you buy anything from my website, then you get my card kit that makes five cards from designer series paper. But I sent you a little booklet and it's got templates for the five cards. Actually, it ended up being four templates because the one had 12 paper and at the time I sent them I didn't have enough for all of those to go um but, but templates that you'll get will work for all of the new papers as well so I'm really excited to try some of those templates I came up with with the new papers so any order in May doesn't matter how much it is you get that you'll get an invitation to the sneak peek Facebook event that we're doing and you'll get a copy of the catalog sent to you as soon as I get them which Maybe about, I would say I'll get them in maybe 10, 11, 12 days. So I'll have all the stuff ready to stick in them and go. So that's what you will get. I know that's the, that's the pottery that it reminds me to. Thanks, monkey. So that is that. I will um, clean up all this stuff and I'm going to take pictures of what comes in the sweets together. And I will stick that on my website and on Facebook. So you'll kind of know what's what. And then if you're in the Indianapolis area, I am going to have a, get the camp that's new, new stuff for my camp. It's always new catalog camp in June. So it will be in early June. And then we do have a Facebook event again, that's all the new catalog stuff with the girls that I do it. I can't remember when our June one is. It's sometime in June when we can buy what we wanted and not what was on the list. Although I do, some of this stuff would have been on my list even if it wasn't what they showed us. So hang on just a second. Let me see if I can switch back over. There we go. So everybody have a great day. And if you have one of the things that I showed that you would like for me to do first, then by all means, vote down below. Hi, Lily. And tell me that which ones you want to see first, because it'll give me some focus.
because I do all of them at first and obviously you can't. So my daughter's going to come over this afternoon and do her unboxing, I think, for her Facebook. <laughs> this is my stuff. So if you follow her, her YouTube channel, she is trying to get followers on her YouTube channel. So without her knowing that I'm asking you to do this, if you'd go follow her, I think it's called Rissy's Cards. It's R-I-S-I. -I, uh, I don't know if that's what it's called. I'll put a link. But she has cute videos. They're super short. They're mostly set to music, but her cards are really cute. They're definitely a younger look, um, but it's fun because it's Sometimes it takes us out of our box to a whole different look, but she's trying to get followers and it's always a little bit hard at the beginning to get people to watch. So if you go follow her and then that will help um, YouTube put her videos out there. So, so we've got birds in the jar. I can do those. So I'm excited to take pictures and get stamping. So I will see you all later and you can keep voting. And if you don't mind sharing this, that would be great too. I haven't done Facebook live on my particular page for a while we've done lots of facebook lives but it's been on all of our different group pages and if you stop then facebook's like yeah we're not going to show this to anybody anymore so i know it's not going to go get a whole lot of traction unless y'all help me so and with my new software i have to stand up and walk across the room to turn this off so i'm gonna have to say bye and go over to my computer and take my mouse because literally it's hooked up to my computer across the room but everybody have a great day and i will be back i may do a live tomorrow um, as well with another card. So keep voting because I'm going to do at least one today for YouTube, which will end up here. And then I may do a live tomorrow. So keep voting. Bye.